Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel Think Smart and this is Mastan Rao Nayadu. This is first session out of five sessions of class 10 mathematics chapter similar triangles. Here you go. Once again a warm welcome to our YouTube channel Think Smart. Now we are going to start a mathematics chapter of class 10 similar triangles and this is introduction. The objectives of this session are listed here. First to know what are similar figures. Next to understand the difference between similar and congruent figures. Then to know the conditions required for similarity of triangles and to know the applications of similar triangles and also to know the theorems involved in the chapter. First of all, we need to know what are similar figures. In general, two figures are said to be similar if they are of same shape. However, in more mathematical language, two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal. That means two figures can be considered as similar figures if they satisfy the two conditions as we have mentioned here. First condition, both the figures should have the same corresponding angles. At the same time, both the figures should have the same ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides. Then we can consider both the figures as similar figures. Now we shall see some examples of similar figures. All regular polygons having the same number of sides are always similar. For example, all squares are similar since their corresponding angles are equal and the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are same or in proportion. On the same lines, we even can understand why all equilateral triangles are also similar and circles with different radii are also similar. At last, you can see two similar triangles on the screen. They resemble same shape since their corresponding angles are equal and the lengths of the sides are in the same ratio or proportion. Now, we shall discuss the difference between similar figures and congruent figures. You can see on the screen, we have mentioned the difference between similar figures and congruent figures. In general, two figures are said to be similar if they are of same shape. Size is optional. Two figures are said to be congruent if they are of same shape and same size. However, in more mathematical language, two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal. In more mathematical language, two figures are congruent if their corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are equal. Therefore, we can conclude that for congruency of two figures, they should be of same shape and same size whereas for similarity of two figures they should be of same shape and not necessarily of same size. There is an important observation. All congruent figures are similar but all similar figures are need not to be congruent because congruency of two figures require both the same shape and the same size whereas similarity doesn't require the same size. Now we are shooting a question. There is a question on next slide. You pause the video and try and then resume the video and check. Here you go. When can you say that two similar figures can be two congruent figures? I repeat the question. When can you say that two similar figures can be two congruent figures? So pause the video here and think of the question that we have shot. And after that, resume the video and check your answer. So the answer, if two similar figures have the same size, then they can be congruent figures. I repeat the answer, if two similar figures have the same size, then they can be congruent figures. Are you correct? Hoping you are correct, now we are going for more examples to understand the difference between similarity and congruency. Yep, here you go. On the left, you can see a father and a son who are similar and a twin, a brother and sister who looks alike on the right. Another beautiful picture is for you, a fat father and a fat son who are similar are here on the left of the screen with ice cream in hands and on the right hand side, two brothers are alike examples of congruency. 
This is another picture we can understand why left pair of the images are similar and why right pair of the images are congruent. Here is our need now. We can see a pair of similar triangles on left and a pair of congruent triangles on right of the screen. So it's very clear that congruent figures do have same shape and same size whereas similar figures do have only same shape. Now we shall discuss what are similar triangles. Do you remember what is the name of your chapter? Yup, that is similar triangles. So far we have discussed what are similar figures and how these are different from congruent figures. Now we are going to discuss about similarity of triangles. Two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides are equal or in proportion. Now you may be thinking that these conditions are just same that we discussed early in the session for similarity of figures. Yes, you are right. Both the set of conditions for similarity of two figures and two triangles are same only. However, you can observe this key point with triangles. If corresponding angles of two triangles are equal, then the ratios of the lengths of their corresponding sides will be equal. If the ratios of the lengths of the corresponding sides of two triangles are equal, then their corresponding angles will be equal. Thus, if one of the conditions for similarity of the triangles is satisfied, automatically the other will be satisfied. Therefore, we actually need not to check both the conditions since occurring of one making the other possible. Here you go with a set of similar triangles. Here you have similar triangles namely triangle ABC and triangle A dash B dash C dash and you can see how we show similarity of two triangles using this particular symbol which you can see on the screen and we read this as triangle ABC is similar to triangle A dash B dash C dash since these are similar triangles we know angle A is equal to angle A dash angle B is equal to angle B dash angle C is equal to angle C dash since corresponding angles are equal and AB by A dash B dash is equal to BC by B dash C dash is equal to AC by A dash C dash since the ratios of the lengths of the corresponding sides same. Now we shall discuss about the applications of similar triangles. Have you ever thought how our ancestors measured the distances, heights and etc? Here you go. Analyzing the shadows or duplicate figures that make triangles we can determine the actual height of the object or the length of the object or even the length of the slopes and even required angles too. The fact is that all these heights and distances have been found out using the idea of indirect measurements which is based on the principle of similarity of figures. And in this chapter we have a total of 9 theorems. Theorem 1 Basic Proportionality Theorem Theorem 2 Converse of Basic Proportionality Theorem Based on these theorems we do exercise 8.1 Theorem 3 A J A criteria for similarity of triangles Theorem 4 S S S criteria for similarity of triangles Theorem 5 S A S criteria for similarity of triangles Based on these theorems we do exercise 8.2 Theorem 6 Areas of similar triangles Based on this theorem we do exercise 8.3 Theorem 7 A theorem used for Pythagoras theorem Theorem 8 Pythagoras theorem And Theorem 9 Converse of Pythagoras theorem Based on these theorems we do exercise 8.4 And it's time for review So far we have discussed about what are similar figures and examples for similar figures difference between similarity and congruency and examples about what are similar triangles and the conditions along with the applications of similar triangles and the names of the nine theorems that are associated with this chapter.
you for watching session 1 soon we would present session 2 thank you